Welcome guys, Mario Petkov here and today we are in ZBrush and we will be looking into Z-Spheres more extensively. First of all, what is Z-Sphere? Z-Sphere helps you create very quick base meshes without having to pull and push with the move brush and using clay to build and to take away. You, you just basically build your skeleton, press a button that creates an adaptive skin and you have all the main limbs of your character or whatever you're building to start from there. It saves you a lot of time. There is a lot of videos on uh, creating base meshes in ZBrush but I prefer ZSphere just because it's faster for me and because if I decide to create a, a posed base mesh instead of just a regular T-pose uh, you can do this very quickly. And this is how I always go, I sculpt uh, a T-pose with very basic details on it without going too intense in it. Like the main forms, breasts, if it's a woman, if it's a man, broader shoulders, you know, if I'm doing female, larger hips and then I pose it with Transpose Monster and then I start refining the body and sculpting the, an the anatomy that that deforms when people move because no matter what you do after you pose it you will have to do uh, an additional passive scoping I don't think it's uh, avoidable plus it's a good thing to do it anyway this is my ZBrush it has nothing uh, special on it a few buttons that I've added just to help me you can customize it so what we are going to do now is I'm going to create a few Z-spheres, uh, move them up a bit, scale them, rotate them, draw another Z-spheres, just the four main functions because that's basically it with Z-spheres. Then I'm going to continue in spite of video and come back to you at the end of it where we will discuss what we did and uh, talk what we can do with this uh, simple Z-spheres in the future. Alright, let's start by selecting our Z-sphere tool. And as you can see, all those buttons that I told you about that I've customized immediately appeared. But it's not important for now. Let's draw, drag and draw Z sphere. And uh, if you, let me show you, if you start dragging and press shift, it will automatically snap on, on the axis on which we're working. Now, once we get, once we got the sphere, all we have to do is press T and we're in edit mode. And now we can start building our uh, skeleton or whatever. So now what I'll do, let me just zoom it out a little bit, is activate symmetry. And then uh, when you get the green dot, it means it's perfectly on the center along the, the axis that you have symmetry on, in this case X. I'm gonna start dragging a new sphere and then hold shift to get the same size of it. Once you do this, you can press the move, scale or rotate to edit and to uh, additionally add uh, transformations to your Z-sphere or you can press W for move, E for scale and R for rotate. For now we'll get the move tool and hold it. we will move it up a little bit, maybe like this. Then with the E, we'll scale it down a little bit, right? <coughs> and now we will go on top, press Q to go into draw mode again, and we will draw two spheres like that. That will be our shoulders. From here, we can go on, on, on something like that, and let's draw our two spheres, move it up like this. As you can see we are in sped up already, this is two times normal speed. Uh, you can see the arms here are a bit long, a bit wavy, like one of those car wash guys, but it's not important for me right now the length and the size of every single part I just want to get all the body parts there and what I do is I draw two big spheres right, for the legs proportion and scale and, and size and then I just add a Z sphere by clicking somewhere in in between two Z spheres with the, in the draw mode what I do now is I create a neck and I'm drinking beer I guess 
yep and I'm going to create the head now but first I press A and this is very important if you press A or go to adaptive skin and go preview you can go to uh, see what your mesh will look like there are a bunch of options that you don't probably need for now and then I'll start creating the head with uh, just with these spheres and I know it looks like some kind of an offspring of the Michelin man and something some are monsterly creatures but remember that this is just something to do really fast that you will later on sculpt and this is the main reason I go with these spheres because when I work for a project that I'm paid on or for even for personal work I heavily uh, value my speed and the time it takes me to finish a sculpt and that's why I started with these spheres because I can create something much more faster more like segmented approach instead of pulling and pushing everything outside uh, I'm continuing to add another now secondary level of these spheres that will, will help me when the Z sphere stage is done to easily get the forms I want when I'm sculpting with dynamite. The good thing about creating base meshes is that I don't have to do this that, that often now. I have done so many base meshes while working that I can uh, easily use another, other base meshes for uh, different projects and just save them in your library and you'll be able to use them whenever you like you can go for stunt depots or more like a normal pose I don't know I always do I always do it like this and then just pause it and sculpt traditionally on it Now I add another Z-sphere to, to signal out the shape of the breasts and the torso with a woman. Now I'm doing uh, the hands and you can do fingers with Z-spheres, I do not prefer so I'll, I'm just showing here a couple of ways to do it. As you can see even I, I just don't do it that much often that I kind of forgot I need a uh, smaller size, burst size and if you want you can do it like this but I prefer not so later on when you see the final uh, stuff you will see that it is actually not it does not have and I'm continuing to use uh, the move brushes and the scale brush to get the main shapes of uh, how big should the forearms be and the muscles around the shoulders I move the torso a little bit forward to give me a sp to give me a space and material for a bigger uh, for bigger breasts after that because let's not kid ourselves we all do women with big breasts when we draw and sculpt and this is basically it the face is really funny here it's kind of one of those ant-eating creatures but when you start sculpting, it gets much better. Uh, now, after I see my sculpt from afar, I can decide if I think I can work on this. A few more adjustments, and now let's get out of uh, speed up and check on real time to see what we can do with all these uh, Z spheres that we've assembled to have the form of a human body and now if I press A to get a preview as you can see uh, it's decent we can work on this and if you press shift F to go to polyframe mode you can see that every Z sphere and the space between each of the Z spheres have come into different polygroups which is very uh, useful to use later with masking with mask by polygroups you can very easily work on the separate parts of your mesh without worrying about destroying anything else 
Of course, some of the proportions are not perfect. The head and the shoulders could be a little bigger. Maybe the, the feet can be a little shorter. But what what we what's important here is that we have a base mesh created in the matter of minutes that we can start working on and taking away in, into refining into a beautiful human figure. Both this one can work for both male and female. But I think I will do this as a female. So now, when you have uh, this figure, figurine that you deem worthy, all you need to do is press the Make Adaptive Skin, and now you have a separate tool that you can use to start your dynamite sculpting. All right, go create your own base meshes using these spheres. And me personally, when I decide what I want to do with this. Uh, I'll come back and I'll record it and I'll share it with you guys. Remember to like, share and subscribe to stay tuned for when the new stuff comes online. See ya!